Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at setting up our main menu. So this is going to be in a brand new scene. So let's go down to our scenes uh, folder right here and I'm going to right click and go create scene and I'm just going to call this one menu. Okay. We then want to double click on this to open it up. Yes, we'll save the scene we're currently in. And here we are in a brand new scene. Now, the first thing we're going to do is make it so that the background, if we go over to our game view here, isn't the sky box. Okay, we're going to make it a nice flat color. So let's select our main camera game object. And in the inspector, let's change the clear flags from sky box to solid color. This basically means that um, if there is no object in the way, it's just going to render a background color. And we can, of course, change that by changing the background color property right here. And I'm just going to make this a nice green, something like this, perhaps. Okay. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and create our canvas, which is going to hold our UI elements. So I'm going to right click and go UI canvas. That's going to create a new canvas and an event system. And then on our canvas, we are going to have three different UI elements. We're going to have some text for basically the name of the game and two buttons. One that is for playing the game and one for that and one we press when we want to quit. Okay. So I'm going to right click on canvas. I'm going to go UI text dash text mesh pro. Let's call this one title text. We can hop over into our scene view. And if you're not in this view that I'm right now, you just want to click on the 2D button at the top right corner of the scene view and then select the text or select your canvas and press F to focus in on it. Okay. So for our title, I'm going to position it just above the center like so, and I'm going to make it bold font size. Uh, we can keep it at about 36 and let's just center the alignment as well. And I'm going to call this one my 3D game. There we go. Okay. Now, next up, we need two buttons, one to play the game and one to quit the game. Now, for buttons, we can right-click on Canvas, go down to UI, and you'll see down here we have a long list of different elements. We can have sliders, scroll bars, uh, but you'll see there is a button dash text mesh pro. Let's click on that, and I'm going to call this one our play button. Okay, so now for this button, I'm going to increase it in size a bit, like so. And then I am going to open it up because as you can see, there's a child object, which is the text element. And I'm going to rename or I'm going to change the text to display play. Okay, just like that. So if we look in our game view, that's what it's going to look like. And then for the second button, we can just copy and paste the play button or control D to duplicate it. Move it down a tiny bit. I'm going to rename this to our quit button and then change its text to say quit okay and there we go so when we press play we'll as you can see if I press play uh, I'm actually able to click on these buttons you can see there's a little um, color change but they don't do anything so how do we make it so that when we press play it will launch us into our first level and quit will basically quit the game well for that we are going to be creating a script so let's go to our scripts folder and we're going to create a new C sharp script called menu okay and this menu script, uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to our canvas, since I reckon that's probably going to be the best place to have it for now. Attach to the canvas, and then let's open it up. Now, inside of the menu script, we're not going to be needing start or update, so we can delete those two like so. And instead, we are going to be adding in using Unity Engine dot scene management because we do want to be able to switch between scenes. Now, the way that the buttons work is that when you press a button, you can set it up so that it can actually call a function on a given component. So what we're going to do on this menu script, which is a component of Canvas, is we are going to create a function for pressing the play button and a function for pressing the quit button. So I'm going to create a public void and I'm going to call this one on play button. Now, it is important to note that this function has to be public because we are going to be accessing it from outside of this class. And when we press the play button, what we want to do is load it into the first level. So I'm going to go scene manager 
load scene and there's two ways you can do this you can of course enter in the name of your level one okay um, but later on you might go ahead and change the name of the level you know you might make it level 1.1 .1 or whatever uh, so instead I'm just going to use the build index of one okay now the build index of one is not the first scene but the second one okay zero build index zero is going to be our menu scene and then build index one is going to be our level one so we can just enter in the build index like so and then we have the quit button so I'm going to create a public void on quit button function right here now what this is going to do is it's just going to quit the application okay so if we have our game window up and we press quit it's going to close down the game now unity has this already set up for us so all we need to do is go application dot quit okay just like that and that is going to close down our game pretty easily so yeah on play button and on quit button these are the two functions we have created. Now let's go over and connect those to the buttons. So back inside of the editor right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the play button right here and I'm gonna go down to the inspector. Now in the inspector, you see that we have an image component which basically renders uh, the button background image. And then we have a button component and this is basically in charge of detecting when we're clicking on it and changing the tint for when we're highlighting, when we're pressing, etc. And you'll also see something down here which says on click and it says list is empty. Now this is what is known as an event listener. Uh, we're not going to go. To, we're not going to really go into what an event is, but basically this is a list that we can attach functions to, so that when we press the button, those functions are executed. So what I'm going to do is click on the little plus down here at the bottom right to add a new item to the list. And I'm going to drag in the canvas to the object field here. And then where it says no function, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hover over our menu. And then I'm going to select the on play button function right here. So now when we click the play button, this on click event is going to basically look at its list of functions and it's going to call those. So before we press play and test this out, let's first of all go to file build settings and add the menu here. Now to quickly add the scene you're currently in, we can just go add open scenes. That's gonna add the menu to the list, but we want menu to be the first scene in the list. So I'm just gonna click and drag it up here, okay? That is because menu is now building index zero, level one is one, level two is two. We can then close out of this, press play. And then when we have launched into our game, let's press the play button and see what happens. And you'll see it takes us over to level one. And then we can, of course, play through this game here. So yeah, that is the play button working. Now, as a bit of a challenge, I want you to go ahead and set up the quit button right here. Okay, I want you to connect this up to our on quit button function, which, of course, is our menu script that is a component of Canvas. So it works in pretty much the exact same way as we've done with the play button, but you're, of course, choosing a different function. So have a go at that, and I'll be right back to see how you done. All right, so I hope you had to go at that challenge. Now let's look at how we can actually complete it. So what we need to do is first of all, select our quit button here, and we are gonna go to the inspector. We're gonna go down to our button component right here, and we have the on click event. So I'm going to add a new item to the list here by clicking on the plus. I'm gonna drag in the canvas object because that's where our menu script is attached to. I'm then gonna click on no function, go to our menu component, and then click on the on quit button function. So now the on quit button function is connected to the quit button. So if I were to press play, um, there is one thing that you may notice and that is if we cl click on the quit button, nothing happens. And that is because application.quit, that line of code we uh, wrote in order to actually quit the game, that only really works if it is a um, built and compiled project, okay? That doesn't really work here in the editor because otherwise, you know, you'd probably close the editor down. Um, so it, that only works if it is actually a built game. So you can, of course, then build your game and test it out and that should work. So yeah, that is how we can build our menu scene here inside of Unity. Now, in the next lesson, we are going to be looking at just setting up another level so that we can actually get some level progression going um, and then connecting the end flags and then connecting it back to the menu so we can have a full game set up and ready to go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all then in the next lesson.